Ring, ring. Another life put on pause, hoping for the great news that the battle of cancer is over. But, unfortunately, has just learned that instead of leaving, this horrid disease has taken residence at yet another location of the body. Imagine the burden this one disease has placed on the patient and her family. Hello everyone, my name is Crystal Carr and today I'll be discussing the impact of the latest cancer treatment on society. For centuries, cancer has plagued the earth and now more than ever, there has been a surge in the prevalence of cancer affecting individuals. According to the National Cancer Institute, cancer is a term for diseases in which abnormal cells divide without control and, as a result, may invade nearby tissues and spread through parts of the body, through the blood and lymph systems. The first documented case arose in ancient Egypt, wherein there were eight documented cases of breast cancer found on a papyrus dated to 3000 BC, according to the American Cancer Society. Due to such cases and no breakthroughs in any cures being formulated, the ancient Egyptians concluded in 1600 BC that there is no treatment for this disease. With hopes of discovering a cure, scientists have made great progress in developing treatments to slow the rate at which the cancer develops. Currently, the latest and possibly the most significant treatment for cancer patients is the new approval of the Vitrakvi drug by the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. This drug was developed by Loxo Oncology in association with Bayer in November 2018. Their focus is geared towards the development and commercialization of highly selective medicines for patients with genomically defined cancer. The aim of the drug is to treat patients with a specific genetic characteristic regardless of its location in the body, the first of its kind. It is available both as a capsule and as a liquid oral solution for children. The Tracfi contains the kinase inhibitor, larotrectinib, indicated for the treatment of adult and pediatric patients with solid tumors that have a neurotrophic receptor tyrosine kinase gene fusion. This is useful for patients without a known acquired resistance to mutation, patients with a metastatic tumor, or where surgical resection is likely to result in severe morbidity. Pooled data showed an objective response rate of 75% among patients treated with Vitrapvi, with 22% of patients having complete response and 53% having partial response across various tumor types. The drug led to durable response in adults and children with 17 cancer types such as lung, thyroid, pancreatic, and salivary gland cancers. Despite the groundbreaking results observed with the use of Vitrakvi, critics are also analyzing the negativities that might arise due to the use of this drug. One such concern is its side effects. As with all medications, there is always the possibility of receiving more than what you bargained for. For the most part, the common side effects observed in patients include headaches, nausea, and constipation. As for the side effects that can become life-threatening, they are neurotoxicity, hepatotoxicity, and embryo-fetal toxicity. While the side effects may pose a serious threat, arguably, the most opposing view held by most individuals is that this drug only targets the population with the TRK gene, leaving the other cancer patients waiting patiently 
for another great discovery in the fight against cancer. Despite the concerns, Vitrafi has proven to be the best alternative for patients fighting the cureless disease. And as for the patients waiting patiently, Loxo Oncology, in association with Bayer, is currently researching different alternatives as to how best the drug can be altered to fit the needs of patients with gene variations. With that being said, we have reached the end of our discussion for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.